welcome to uh, my next video in Doctor Who December. Uh, so yeah, I have uh, basically said and stated that a couple of the videos in Doctor Who December are going to be a little bit different from what I normally do. Obviously, this is one of those videos. Um, I really wanted to, you know, maybe share a couple of other aspects of me um, in this Doctor Who December and one of my favorite things in the world is to cook and um, I'm always cooking and I am just so excited to kind of share that sort of side with you guys um, uh, today. So I had a couple of ideas, you know, um, when I was thinking about, you know, I kind of wanted to do a cooking video. Um, and I had a couple of ideas of, you know, what I actually wanted uh, to do. And um, yeah, eventually I landed right on, you know, I had to do Jammy Dodgers because it's the holiday season and it's kind of like making a Christmas cookie. So, you know, I am just so, so, so uh, excited to uh, do this. Um, I was able to actually um, taste uh, jammy Dodgers. Um, I had to go to the commissary on Po. It was like a whole thing to try and find them, but I did find them so I would be able to recreate. I've done some research online, did, you know, tried to figure out, and it seems like they're kind of mostly, uh, like a shortbread type of, uh, cookie, but I think they're just, they're a little bit on the sweeter side of that. So that's kind of the basis of this recipe that I'm going to show you guys today. Um, yeah, so I do hope that you guys really, really enjoy this video. And just so you guys know, um, obviously I don't have the best setup for like cooking videos and stuff. You know, this is not, you know, what I normally do on my channel. So, uh, give me a little bit of leeway with, um, how this is kind of edited. I'm already nervous about it. So yeah. Um, I hope that you guys are excited and let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off with two cups of flour um, and I have uh, my little kind of sifter right here um, and uh, you wanna use that for kind of drawing ingredients and things of that nature because, you know, um, you just don't want the clumps but, you know, if you have to use, if you don't have a sifter, then that's fine. Um, so we're just going to right on through and then just it just gets rid of all of the clumps that you got all right and next powdered sugar or confectioner sugar whatever you want to call it that is going in as well okay and then after that you just want a pinch of salt just Ugh. So you basically just want to mix all of those dry ingredients all together, make sure they're kind of, um, I'm a messy cook. I have no problem saying that I'm a completely messy cook. So this is, this whole area is going to look like a fucking disaster by the time I'm done with it. So basically, uh, I, next you're going to take uh, a cup of butter, cold and cubed. Um, normally the general rule, though there are some exceptions, is when you're making cookies, if um, you want it to be um, a little bit of a, a, a harder cookie, uh, like we're going to be doing today, this is going to, you, you're going to want cold butter. Um, if you want like a gooier cookie, softened butter, it's kind of how it goes uh, for the most part. We're going to add this in to the dry uh, mixture. Just... That is a lot of butter. Um, let me grab my my snowman spatula. Okay, and um, you want to make sure that your hands are washed and everything. You're handling food, um, and you're gonna kind of just mash this together with your hands. Um, you can try to stir it in together. It's not going to combine the right way if you really do that. So you want to do, you want to get it to kind of a crumbly mixture. So that's what we're going to be doing. Definitely a messier cookie to make, I guess, when it comes to your hands. Okay, so now once you're done with that, you're going to just move that over to the side and then we're going to use the wet ingredients, which are literally just going to be eggs, uh, two eggs and um, some vanilla 
extract. I have this really great, um, this is actually, I would recommend, I would assume if you wanna get it to actually taste close to the cookie, um, it would be more regular vanilla, but I have a French vanilla extract, which is just really, really good that my brother and his husband got for me, and it was really, really, um, it tastes really good. So I'm gonna use that. It's the holidays and I can use the good stuff. So you're just gonna take one egg, two eggs, and about a couple of teaspoons of your vanilla extract. I am obviously gonna use this French vanilla one, which is very good. It's from Newport, <laughs> if anybody cares. <laughs> and now we're just going to whisk that all together. Okay, and now we are just going to add the wet mixture to the dry mixture, kind of how most cookies are made. Um, and I'm just gonna add that in, make sure whoop, you get all of it. Ta-da! And then you're just gonna combine it until basically a dough forms. I'm actually like so nervous about this video and putting it up because I know it's like so different from what I normally do. But I hope at least some of you enjoy it. Maybe some of you will make them. I don't know. Okay, so the next part is going to be um, kind of the other, one of the other messier parts. And this is um, some plastic wrap right here. And we are going to just basically get the dough onto the plastic wrap, wrap it up, and just stick it in the fridge. Um, whenever you want to like cut out cookies, and stuff like that. Come on, dough. Stop being silly. So whenever you do uh, cut out cookies, um, which I'm going to be doing to get sort of the jammy dodger sort of, you want to make sure that um, your dough is cold. It's just so much easier to work with when it's cold. So I'm wrapping the dough up in some plastic wrap right now. It doesn't look all that beautiful, but whatever. And we're going to refrigerate it for about uh, I want to say, I think I'm going to do about 20 minutes and then I'm, I'm going to kind of set up the whole station for me to start doing cutouts. And yeah, I will be back in uh, 20 minutes, but it will be probably like a second for you. All right, so now uh, the dough has chilled and we are just going to unwrap it, roll it out, and cut out some cookies. What I love about cutout cookies is you don't have to like roll it into any sort of specific shape. And I'm gonna make these a little bit thicker than I normally would. Just because I'm being a little bit cautious about how they're going to bake. I found this um, cookie cutter that has like ridges on the side. It was the closest I could find, all right, to uh, what it, I'm obviously not gonna do kind of the little design that they have on top and stuff, but I can at least do this. Ta-da! Um, but what we're gonna do is I'm actually just gonna put them to the side because half of these need to get a little heart cut out in them. Now, obviously, if you wanna make a ton of cookies, you can double this recipe and stuff like that, but for me, um, I'm obviously gonna like buy myself for Christmas. Um, I am gonna go see family for New Year's, but um, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and eat all of these cookies. <laughs> okay, that's about good for round one. Here we go, and I'm gonna, and we're just gonna do, I'm just gonna do half. Get that back. We'll roll that out again. So we're gonna do, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, you're right. <laughs> so I got these little heart um, cookie cutters, if you can see that. Um, and I got them off of Amazon. Like I had to try to, I didn't have tiny heart cookie cutters. I wanna say the middle one is probably the best. 
accurate representation of, so I'm gonna see how well these work. I'm a little scared. They're gonna fuck it up. All right, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. I don't know how I'm supposed to, oh, it pushes out. Oh, oh my God. I love this thing. What? I'm, I'm in love. Okay. So I'm gonna stick the heart ones down next to a non-heart one. Yes, Jess, wear black when you're working with a lot of flour. That's a good idea, right? Oh my God. Oh my God. I have, oh, what, one moment. I forgot that I even had this thing. It's like a Christmas apron. Look how festive. Yeah, I'm, I'll have the lights on, but I won't have it blink, so you don't have to look at that. Okay, so I have to hold the camera for this point um, just because I don't have the setup to have it over here. So um, my oven is at 350 and yep, the uh, cookies are all ready to go in for about um, 15 minutes. Okay guys, so I got the cookies out of the oven. I'm just going to do one tray um, and uh, finish that because otherwise this video would take a very, very long time. So um, I am basically, they came out a little ovally instead of circly, but you know what? Not too bad for my first try. So what I'm going to be doing is some of them have little cuts in them. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, so I got strawberry jam. Um, I know that the jam is uh, I wanted it to look like Jammy Dodgers, and I'm not a big fan of um, raspberry, but I knew it was a red <laughs> type of look. So, I have a teaspoon here, and I have a little snowman spreader. I don't know how well this is going to work, um, but I want it to because it's festive, and I like being festive. But anyway, so um, I think I'm just going to try to do a teaspoon on each, and I'm kind of doing it while they're still warm and then I'm gonna pop them back in the oven for just a couple of minutes to make sure that they actually stay put. So we're gonna see how this goes. Um, I'm gonna try to not get too many like big preserves or anything like that in with the jam. And we're just going to, let's see, let's see how I'm gonna do this. So this is about a teaspoon. This is all experimental guys. <laughs> You don't want to get it all the way to the edge, I don't think, because you're going to smash it down with another one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. It's a little overflow, but it's looking good. And yeah, you're just going to continuously do that until you have them all done. And that's, that's about how it goes. tedious. I'm definitely not a, this is so weird for me. Whenever I make anything, I don't try to make anything pretty. Um, it's just not, I like making things taste good, but I don't have the patience normally to make things look like really, really nice. And so, but I, you know, cause I'm doing this for a video. I'm actually trying for once. These are definitely like thicker, um, cookies. And I'm definitely making them, they're kind of big. Um, I think they're bigger than I probably wanted them, but I, I think I was nervous. It's al There's always kind of a, a you have to, if shortbread cookies and things like that are really thin, they tend to burn very easily. And I just was so nervous that that was going to happen. By the way, guys, I know that my voice is a bit echoey in this video and I'm really sorry about that because it's, it's, 
it's just kind of how it is at the moment. All right, obviously if I did both trays right now, I would stick them all on here um, and just pop them in the oven for a couple more minutes. That's what I'm about to do. Same temperature and all that. Um, I'm just, for time reasons, going to try to get through this uh, fairly quickly. <laughs> Okay, so I just got um, this batch right out of the oven. They're definitely, as you can see, a bit thicker than um, I think they're supposed to be. But to be honest, I think that they're, they came out uh, great. Okay, so I have them and I am just going to transfer them to my plate. Um, but I'm going to let these cool off a little bit and then I will try it and let you know if it actually tastes somewhat Correct. Okay guys, so I am back in my usual spot and I feel much more comfortable here. I really hope that the footage came out um, Good, I guess I'm gonna find out um, as soon as I edit this. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching um, so I have one right here I had to wait for uh, it to cool off. I think the hearts came out pretty good. I mean decently I think to try and taste and um, Like I said, I think they're pretty thicker than normal, but whatever. Let's give it a go <laughs> I think they came out great. I think they came out absolutely amazing um oh my god I'm so happy so yeah you guys can make these and um you guys can be more of a judge if it, it does actually taste like a jammy dodger but it at least tastes like a good cookie so um maybe some of you guys will try this I know that this is probably not a video you were expecting for Doctor Who December but um Hope that you enjoyed it anyway, um, and if not, there'll be something for you tomorrow. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!